Hello, everybody. I've been busy working. That's a good thing. Just wanted to talk about the simulated universe. Uh, I saw an interview with this guy, Tom Campbell. He's on YouTube, so you can look him up, Tom Campbell. He's on my uh, front page, too. If you click on Babalu42, it'll be one of the suggestions on the right side. Anyways, I saw an interview with him on Evita O'Shell. She does new agey stuff. And it was excellent. It's the kind of thing I've been looking for, kind of an uh, explanation of what the heck's going on, <laughs> on with our reality. Because, uh, you know, the whole God thing, God evolution, and the Big Bang, and cosmology. Uh, well, Tom, Tom, this is, his theory is, it's, you know, like, uh, Einstein was trying to come up with a, a theory of everything, which they call a toe theory of everything. So this is Tom Campbell's theory, his big toe, he calls it, his big theory of everything, is that we're living in a simulated universe. And everything is digital, nothing... Uh, things aren't infinite, you know, time comes in little chunks, just like uh, movie project projectors, you know, they give you one little frame at a time, that's how our reality is fed to us, through digital chunks of information, and, uh, and that the universe itself just has to be big enough it's kind of ex existential it only has to be big enough for when you're looking at it you the the information is generated as you need it so it's not uh, it's not that everything's out there you know there's no objective reality the only thing that is uh, fundamental is Consciousness. So here's a better way of explaining it. I'm going to leave the link so you can see this interview. It really, he really hammered it out in that interview. It's actually three like hour long interviews, but it really made sense in those ones. And then on his uh, in his YouTube channel, he gives like day long seminars, so you can you know get right into it. He's a nuclear physicist. So it's, he's not like a wing nut, <laughs> you know? So what he's saying is that, uh, like I said, there is no fundamental objective reality. Like this table isn't really here, you know, and things you see with your eyes aren't really there. The information is being fed directly into your mind from the bigger information system. And see, your head isn't really even there. The information that is being fed to your mind tells you that you see stuff and that it makes all of it is worked out so that it makes sense to you that there's stuff out there that is the light is coming to your eyes and you're seeing it. But none of that exists, it's just your mind, inside a bigger mind, basically. So, uh, that's that's kind of cool, and the Big Bang. Yeah, the interesting thing about the that is, uh, I've always had trouble with the Big Bang, and scientists, and because I'm interested in like free energy and that sort of thing. So I have trouble with scientists. I, I was looking into it. So what? What is, you know, electromagnetism and what is all this stuff? And how come we haven't figured out? They still don't even know how uh, electromagnetism works. They don't. It just does. <laughs> so, they haven't figured that out yet. And they're talking about the Big Bang. But the interesting thing is about the Big Bang. They only go up to the Big Bang. 
and they don't look beyond that. You know why? Because someone had to press the run button on the Big Bang, if there was one. And I'm not even saying there was one. Someone had to press the run button. That means there's something else. And they don't want to look at the something else. You see? So, Tom Campbell's theory, his big theory of everything, includes God. And even though he talks about evolution, uh, you know, like our physical evolution, think about it for a second. Our physical evolution? What does that even mean? If we're not even really here, then never mind the physical evolution. You know, it's just something to uh, look good. We have this whole past, you know, you dig up a fossil or whatever, it just has to look good. Because we're not really here to eat and breathe and work and fart and all that stuff. We're here to learn how to get along with each other and love and care. And, and Tom Campbell puts it in scientific terms, like reduce your entropy you know, and grow and build more complex systems and whatever. He puts it that way, reduce your entropy. But he also says it the other way, grow in, in love. And that's, well, that's why we're here. So all these things like evolution and, you know, did, did God create us in like that or six days? It doesn't matter. <laughs> You know, in this theory, because it's all made up. The past is, you know, it's just there to look good as if we came from something. You might as well think, and this is how I think, we started just right now. You know, just started here. That's what I think anyway. But And so his theory uh, also explains all kinds of anomalies like uh, Schrodinger's cat. You know, is the cat in the box? Is the cat dead? You know, all those scientific, uh, you know, quantum problems. Covers everything. Uh, the double slit experiment. He goes into that at length. So he's saying this world is information based. Okay, so throw out what you see. As if it's out there. It's not out there. I mean, it's as good as out there, but it's really all in here. And here isn't even here. There's no here or there. It's just information. It's just consciousness, you know, being fed information. That's all it is. Is it important to know that? Not necessarily. If you're doing fine with, uh, you know, reading the Bible or whatever it else you believe and you're growing in love and caring, then obviously it doesn't matter that you know this. It doesn't matter. So really, I'm, you know, I'm just putting this out there for people like me who were atheists. And this is very helpful because uh, it talks about God in a different way that doesn't, you know, how words can get bastardized and trampled and you know they don't have the same meaning for me like glory and lord as an atheist growing up those words although good words they don't have the same meaning for me when you're an atheist because it kind of takes uh they get a different color like you kind of roll your eyes at things like that but the reality is there is a creator right so and I know this. I know, know this. I know this. This is not like a belief thing. <laughs> so I need a way to understand it that I personally do. Maybe, maybe you don't. I need a way, and probably other atheists do, to, uh, you know, to deal with that reality. Because it's real. But you can't go around rolling your eyes <laughs> at the creator. You know what I mean? So, so this is a... I'll put a link into these interviews. He said he got into this... You know, he was going straight up science, cosmology, all that stuff. He was doing all that. 
but there was a uh, some easy credits for meditation. So he's like, oh, I'll take that, and maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, get learn how to do more with less sleep, which is what he was thinking. So he did that, and that got him into this whole world of other stuff, like uh, out of body experience. Uh, remote viewing, and he says all that stuff is real. It's just as real as this so-called physical world is. It's just, an, a, it's all information, so when you go out of body, uh, you're just being fed information that looks a little different, you know. It's still, it's still your consciousness, and when you die, Nothing's really going to change. It's still going to be your consciousness in a different environment. So that's something I think people need to grasp is, especially atheists, when you die, you're not dead. It's the same. It's going to be the same. So you need to get your shit together right now. You know, because when you die, it's not going to be like start over. It's just going to be more of the same. So grow now and grow later and keep growing, get better at making choices and caring about others. That's what you need to do. I, you know, That's my opinion. Uh, if whatever you're doing works for you, go for it. <laughs> right? So... Take it easy. Check these interviews out if uh, they're really good. Help me a little bit. Okay, good day.